Hello everyone, I'm Anne from Anne Makes here on YouTube. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, oops, I'm sorry, the camera is shaking a little bit. I am actually outside and there is a bit of wind, so <laughs> things are being blown uh, a little bit more than I had intended. So welcome to Anne Makes and if you are new here and you'd like to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button below. So today I want to share with you a haul that I did. I went to Dollarama and Dollar Tree yesterday in uh, close, to, close to where I live and uh, Dollarama, by the way, is a chain of dollar stores where the items range between $1 and $4 uh, Canadian because I live in Canada and uh, the Dollar Tree that I went to, of course, is also located in Canada. So the items there are $1.25 Canadian versus in the U.S. they are $1, but it's almost the same stuff that we get. We just, of course, there are some differences. Um, but if you're interested please stay tuned and i will have that coming up for you if this video is too long i will have to shoot this in two videos i'm first going to start with the dollarama haul and i'm so sorry about the background noise but i can't help it it's mother nature and that is uh, a couple of crows <laughs> there's a couple of crows that are talking out there so uh yeah this is what we have <laughs> We live in the country and we are surrounded by nature. So uh, I see that perhaps I'm creating a shadow, so I may have to move the camera so you have a better view of the items that I hauled. So if you are familiar with my hauls, uh, you may recognize this pink bin. I do uh, like to haul these whenever I find them. And I didn't expect to find any more of these. I thought I had bought out every last one that the two stores that are closest to me actually have. But uh, there were a few that were out yesterday, so I bought what was there. Uh, these are the collapsible bins. They measure 11 by 11 by 11. They are great to put in um, those modular cabinets that have the openings. Um, fortunately, they're not the right size for scrapbooking stuff because I would need 12 by 12 But for a lot of my craft stuff these work great in my craft room So these are 250 and I picked up I just picked up two uh, There were there were a few others left, but they were high up. I couldn't reach so I just bought these two Okay I picked up a few more of the create your own photo magnets. These measure six by nine. <clears throat> I do uh, use these mostly for organizing my craft dies in my crafting supplies. So, and I've been picking up a few each time I go to the store. Uh, these are $1.25 uh, because I plan to make a big overhaul organizing of my, my dies. I found these cute little panda stickers. I just think they were the most adorable. Uh, so I had to buy this. And these are a dollar, a dollarama. And they were very cute. They had, I found two. And I know I bought the two because I, I just think these were too cute to pass up. And I know I hauled this one before, but since I saw one more uh, yesterday, I got it. This one is with the kitty cats. More puffy stickers and all this for a dollar. I purchased these zipper pouches. They say A5. And they were in where the office supplies are. And yeah, it is a studio organizers. So studio is usually the brand that you see at Dollarama for a lot of office and uh, like crafting supplies. I wish you could see that. And well, it's pink. It's, it's a clear pink. It's kind of transparent, but in a pink shade. I don't know if you could see that. <laughs> and I'm wearing pink. Um, yeah. So here, 
here you go here's my my plastic case it's like a big pencil case but it actually the zipper actually goes like this so you can actually open it this way and there's two mesh pockets here one here one here so uh, since I plan on packing up my current craft room so I can move it up into this area in several months from now and I will be reorganizing my organizing system I thought these would be handy for my crafting supplies so these are two dollars a piece and I bought uh, five of them there were five on the hook so I took all five I really like to use clear storage in my craft room so I got uh, this storage box the pencil storage box that you can use for anything you don't have to use this just for school tools or office tools and my store had a whole bunch of these so I got five or six I think I got five I got five of these uh, clear boxes. I love using these to organize stuff in my craft room. Uh, what I do is, like, because I'm I'm such a, a freak about organizing and containers and plastic containers for uh, my crafting supplies and my tools, and I would buy everything I see. I always think the containers are so cute, and I love all of them. I decided that in order to limit myself to purchasing and my purchase and my crazy purchases I limit myself to things that are clear uh, my accent color is pink and the other color I limit myself to buying is white if it's a white basket or clear or a clear box with a white lid or if it's it has pink then I might buy it but if it's got blue if it's got black if it's got other other colors and it's really really cute I tell myself nope and you limit yourself to clear pink and white so you can't buy that <laughs> that's how I sort of limit my purchases um, all these are new to me at Dollarama there were two of these on the shelf in the uh, beauty aisle beauty and health product aisle and they are a four pack of these little tins of Nivea cream so each tin holds 30 milliliters so you got four of uh, 30 milliliters and they're kind of cute and they're four dollars for the pack and I just thought this makes a great stocking stuffer and I think also I could take them out of the box and uh, put them you know and as little gifts include them with a gift and put them separately in stocking stuffers so um, yeah that's why I bought this and it's a very good cream to use especially in winter here because our skin often gets very dry because our winters are very cold and very dry oh completely new to me I don't know if anybody has seen these they have flannel pants uh, with a drawstring waist there's a crazy chipmunk right there, right outside my screen here. <laughs> these are flannel pants with a drawstring, and these are $4. I got a pair. They have side pockets, apparently. I got a pair so my for my son to try out. Um, you know, he likes to wear these to sleep in and lounge around. So I don't know how well they will hold up. They're a thin flannel, um, so he will give them a try and get back to me on that. And I'm not, and I bought the largest size they had. Uh, hopefully, the size is true, and he will be able to wear them. And if, if they shrink in the laundry, hopefully they don't shrink too much. But for uh, four dollars, that's not bad for a pair of uh, pajama lounge pants. Also in the health and beauty aisle, I saw the Soul Magic. It is a foot smoothing pad with derma grit, and these are a dollar twenty-five, and it has like a little groove. 
and it says it is a contoured flexible pad shape to your feet elbows and knees so it is to restore your skin's natural softness that's how it works so again i thought oh these are fun stocking stuffers for adults um who doesn't appreciate a rough sponge to wash your feet with <laughs> so i got a few of those now bouncing over to the kitchen aisle i purchased uh this spreader i call these a spreaders I, yeah it is a spreader i call these icing spreaders by wilton it is two dollars and it's got this gray plastic handle uh for i like to use these for when i'm icing a cake and i actually have i actually had some really good wilton ones that i don't know where they are now so uh, my husband was doing some uh, purging in the kitchen, getting rid of all these things that he thought we didn't need anymore. So uh, maybe that's why I can't find my spreaders. So I got this one. I purchased this box of the zipper seal store bags with the double zipper, BPA free for $1.50. These are the extra large. You get six in here. They are 13 by 15.6 inches. And uh, these are perfect for storing my scrapbooking supplies. They are perfect for fitting my 12 by 12 papers. And I could put a whole project in here. That is what I mainly purchased these for. I purchased two boxes. One to even my kitchen for actually storing uh, food and freezing it. Or and this other box just for my crafts. I thought you were talking to your box there. I'm talking. To, yes, my son just walked in and he thinks I'm talking to the box. Doesn't realize that the phone's there and I'm filming video. This is too funny. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Such is my life. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Okay. Uh, I purchased. A couple more of these 10 foot long charge and sync cables, the USB to lightning for our um, multiple devices that we have in the home. I like to use these 10 foot cords because they're, they're just so practical for all the stuff that we have and uh, to reach, you know, the plug and yeah, to be able to use your device while it's plugged in at the same time. 10 feet works a lot better than those little two feet cords that you get. So, four bucks. I picked up a package of the uh, Flowrite permanent ink markers in black. This is pretty good buy. You get two of these for a dollar. I'm constantly using uh, black permanent ink markers for everything. So, picked up some of that. Uh, when I went down the health and beauty aisle in the baby section of that aisle, I saw these little finger puppets. And I just thought these are so cute. This would have been great when my kids were little and at bath time. They would have they would have loved these. And I picked these up because I thought, oh, you know what? Um, these would be fun in pocket letters. So because I really would like to get back into making pocket letters and sharing with my friends. So that's what I thought of, and also they could make a nice little uh, gift to add to a basket, you know, for a mom with a, who has a new baby maybe, or like a baby shower basket gift. And so I got this package that has this assortment of critters, and this package with, uh, I guess these are frogs and the snake, and this one is like under under the sea creatures oh i couldn't wait to share this with you guys dollarama well, at least my dollarama had a lot of these off in the christmas section they have these 10 led light sets and i've seen people haul on another here can you see that it's pearls. This one, it, it's just 10 lights. It's very tiny. Okay. 
and they have like snow and they had stars and um, other they had they also have these ones I got one of these with these like little metal balls in this kind of silvery color and um, I got these pearls because I thought these I could use at any time of year um, and I love pearls so I couldn't wait to show these to you because these are three dollars and these are bad the little battery operated LED lights speaking of batteries I was in need to buy some new rechargeable batteries I have a couple things that I use in my office uh, that I like to use rechargeable batteries for and it was just a time that I got some fresh ones so I got these two double A rechargeable batteries uh, the Sunbeam brand for three dollars fidget spinners at Dollarama Dollarama had these new fidget spinners these are two dollars I just picked one up I already had bought a couple of fidget spinners I paid more than that I think I paid four dollars from Dollarama when they first had some and they were in a in a cardboard box not that they were in a case or anything but they were four dollars and these ones on this type of packaging is two dollars so I just picked up a white one I'm just gonna keep this in my car for whenever I'm stuck in traffic or I have someone in my car who is being a bit fussy let's say just a little distraction so that's why I got that uh, last time I went to Dollarama I had picked up some a couple of these paper mini craft punches and I got the penguin and the moon one last time because I was sure I didn't have it those in my stash and then I compared the little chart here to my collection of mini craft punches and I saw uh, that I are I did not have two which I bought yesterday uh, I did not already have this one so now I do the little heart with the arrow going through it and the little umbrella so I have I have all these they're not the same brand as this but I basically have all these little shapes now in my my collection of punches because you know my collections not complete I don't have the whole set <laughs> a couple snackies for me and the boys this island bar I like these because these are two for 84 cents or 88 cents can't remember I'll look it up on the receipt but uh, yeah so that's a pretty good deal and I love caramels at this time of year. So I purchased myself this bag of original caramels, uh, 350 grams, and these are $2.50. These are so yummy, 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 yummy. And we try to unwrap them to melt them to for candy, for caramel covered apples, but we're so busy eating them that we never have enough left. It's, we're funny okay uh, they had these test tubes of erasers I'm pretty sure I've seen other people haul these a long time ago but these just arrived at my Dollarama or they found them in the back room and they put them on the shelf so they have these little test tubes and these are all like little erasers inside so I got this one with the little pandas and this one has these little purple owls one has little pink owls oh this one it's these little soccer balls uh, yellow and blue but what I like they have little shoes like little soccer shoes they're so cute they also had uh, black and white soccer balls but I I just took this one and so again I got these because I think they will make uh, some cute gifts for friend mail but also to be put in pocket letters so that is that for my Dollarama haul and uh, uh, the video is a little bit long so I will cut it here and I will film another video for my Dollar Tree haul which I will try to do right after this providing I have enough uh, storage space left on my phone and so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy this i hope you got a little chuckle at least and uh, i'd like to show you 
kitty here who's sunbathing. I don't know if you can see her. Can you see her? You want to say hi, kitty? Say hi. <laughs> Sorry. I hope I didn't make you nauseous. So I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did like this video and or you got a kick out of it, uh, I would so appreciate a like, a thumbs up. Uh, please like, comment, share, and uh, take care of yourself. And I will see you after my next haul or crafting video, which I am making also. Uh, I'm making some videos this week for that purpose. Okay, so take care of yourself. Bye.